So while we are waiting, is there any uh, problems that you guys meet? Copy a command or which one? So, you, first you build your board account. Yes. Right? Yep. Then you go back yep. to the standalone do. Yes. And you copy that jar file. Copy a jar file to the bin directory of the Hadoop standalone version, that one. So, do I have to, or if, is this just because it's a standalone? If I had it installed in my own cluster. Could, could I just run the Hadoop command? Actually, we are going to run uh, the other exercise which we set up the cluster environment. This is just a uh, okay. version that you just need to unzip the standard package from Hadoop. Yeah, yeah okay. Or oh, someone uh, in our side asked a question that. Uh, about why we have a standalone version in, uh, in this exercise because uh, actually the easiest way to use Hadoop is to try it on the standalone version but we are going to run the cluster, cluster uh, version later on this exercise Stephen, uh, while yep. we are waiting waiting on that LS output, uh, can I ask yes. somebody? Somebody asked me a question that is there any other language other than Java where people can program for Hadoop? For Hadoop itself, mm, no. Actually, uh, Hadoop just used Java to program in their framework, but. I remember there's a sub project called Pig Latin, but I remember also still in Java, so no. Yes? I was going to say, actually, um, one thing I know is that you can also use other languages that run at the J. Excuse me. Uh, the one thing I said um, that a couple of people I know play with you can also use other languages which run on the JVM, like a Scala or a Clojure, which are like. Um, could the speaker use a mic, please? Yeah, just wait. Uh, they are checking the mic. Yeah. You can come here to close to them this mic. Yep. Uh -huh. Sorry, is this a little better? I have no idea. Okay. Um, what I was going to say is that um, some people I know have also used uh, languages uh, such as uh, Clojure or um, Scala, which are languages um, that have also been optimized to run on the Java virtual machine. For example, Clojure is similar to Lisp, so you, you can program in a different style, but it still runs on the VM, which means that you can still use uh, Hadoop. Okay, so right now um, I see that the results come up. You can, you guys can use cat and then that part number of the file name to see the result of the workout program. So you can see that, for example, the works yourself appears as 80 times in the given file set. So which is quite promising. So we are going to the next part, if you guys uh, can see the result. Or do you guys have any other comments? If not, I probably will continue to the next section.
It, it appears that uh, we're having some problems with uh, due to the so many people running jobs at once on this particular server. Uh, we may want to restrict people from actually running the jobs as you progress through. Is anybody else having a problem with that? Some of our users can't even uh, log in now. Yes, it's very slow. Yeah, uh, if you guys having any connection problem, please use the Java channel to talk to the IT guys and then because um, I'm afraid we might running out of time. So uh, for the user who cannot uh, finish the hands-on exercise, they can also do their exercise offline, I mean after this uh, tutorial section. And if you guys still have any question, just email us or using the Java uh, back channel during we are doing uh, the hands-on exercise. Is that fine? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, some of uh, some of us at UCLA finished, and a few people have problem, but that we, the local TS will take care of it. Sure. Thank you so much. So, uh, as you see, the RedCon program, uh, as we mentioned, that I mean, let me let me up the slides first. So, th the RedCon program here uh, just passed the intermediate state of the uh, of the map result directly to the uh, reduced task. Sometimes if a work show up so many times like uh, 80 times as yourself and then there you have a list like yourself comma one 80 times and then pass it to reduce which is such a uh, uh, waste about and also because every time they write a key pair need to write the files so too much IO times to optimize it, we probably introduce another function called combiner, which can just write, uh, run after each map task done on their local uh, results. So the idea is whenever there is some results from the mapper, uh, if they share the same key, so they first merge it together with uh, key value fair which is not one but rather that the time show up in the same mapper then pass it to the suffering and then to the reduce it will save some time uh, to waiting the long uh, map task have to be done so uh, I'm not going to run this combiner you guys can try it later um, there's a lot of instruction online so you guys just need to follow that uh, and then you guys will get the, the combiner version done. So there's some terms that might be useful. Next, uh, we are going to run it in the cluster version. Uh, first, I need to introduce a little bit about the Hadoop file system. Uh, the Hadoop file system originally idea came from the Google file system, and then they. Uh, private code and then Hadoop file system open source. Uh, they aims to run on low cost hardware uh, which is not using the expensive one. Then as the low cost hardware is, um, uh, approximately will have some fault because uh, they are not really reliable but Hadoop file system can take care of it uh, with duplicate the, uh, the data distribution in uh, several nodes the same data. So it is quite promising that it has a high throughput because this is not a single uh, central node. We put data on different nodes within the Hadoop file system and also it is suitable for the large data set. So the architecture of the Hadoop file system will have one single name node, actually it's the head node, to collect the information of the partition stored in the different data nodes. For example, you can see that uh, a file called foo under that user account will have three um, split uh, chunk and then we will, the first chunk will store in the first node and also we we'll store it at, as the uh, right hand side node which is the first node and also for the bar one also have the, f the, the, the fifth 
chunk will store in the first node and the second node. So what we are going to do is to configure the uh, Hadoop file system in order to let our the Hadoop framework run on the cluster version. So first, what you need to do is to uh, go to the config file and then to change the uh, DFS name dot directory to the directory you have the permission. Um, because if you not do, didn't do that, probably we are sharing the same machine, we have some permission issue. And also, the DFS data directory, you need to set uh, the other unique name with them. I will show it later. Uh, actually, I will do it together with you guys. I just give an introduction about what they are. And then, on the head node itself, you have to tell each um, worker where the head node is to in order to communicate with each other. So you also need to set the master uh, the configuration directory, then the master to tell the where the master is, and also where the worker is on the slaves. Um, I must mention that if you guys want to set up on your own cluster, please make sure that you guys have a SSX server which is um, passwordless, without without uh, which user do not enter. Uh, they are use the password when they SSH to their machine. So I'm going to set the previous directory with you guys together. So first you go to the Hadoop bin. Oh no, uh, Hadoop. This is the uh, uh, not the standard standalone version one and. Here is the uh, version we need to run it on a cluster. So it's a uh, Hadoop point two uh, twenty and point two. Then you go into the config directory. Then use the uh, command you familiar with the test editing. Uh, I'm going to use a nano, and you guys can also use VI. So first check the master. Okay. This is show up. Let's catch the master and see whether it's already set up. Yes, the master has uh, something has a local host inside the master file, and then make sure that the slave is also a local host. Then the reason why we need to do this on local host as uh, each of you guys have your own account on one node only. So if you guys want to set it up on a cluster, maybe the slave nodes will include more uh, more than one line of your worker's IP address. So next, I'm going to check the Hadoop files site.xml. Make sure the value here is a unique value. Oh, uh, I think my editor has some issues. I need to use another one. Okay. You might just want to resize. Yep. Resign? Just type in resize. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't show up. I think it's a network connection issue. Go back to command line, type in resize. Go back to command line. I think you're in the editor. Okay. <laughs> 